I remember that Rice game where Manziel was suspended for the first half. And that was my first introduction into how outrageous college sports was, especially college football, because I remember sitting there like, okay, this guy's suspended for the first half. Meanwhile, that was when they were, the the back end zone was under a like $30 million construction renovation. Well, he was pissed about that, right? Because it was because of him and the sales of his jersey and everything else, the Texas A&M was able to demolish the old Kyle Field and rebuild a new one. Like all the new facilities were getting built at Texas A&M on the back of Johnny Manziel and he didn't have a dollar to his name. I, I don't blame Johnny Manziel. The problem is once you get to the NFL and you're a professional, you got to study, you got to watch tape. You, I mean, you, it, it's a 24 seven job. It's not just show up and play. Of course the Browns took him, right? 